Hello, hello, fellow foodies. And ahoy hoy! Today we have something special. Not just another Darkstalkers recipe, but uh, the Darkstalker in question was not only in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but also was a mummy. So this also ties in to uh, the launch of Universal's Dark Universe. And a reboot of the Brendan Fraser trilogy. Is that a horror comedy or an action comedy? Sequels say action comedy. Uh, first movie says uh, action horror with a sense of humor. Anyway, these are my bloody crowns of the late Pharaoh. And as an Egyptian crown would, once north and south, Egypt became one, uh, they, uh, they would feature the vulture and the cobra, representative symbols of the two countries on the crown of each pharaoh from then on. So, two have I, uh, combined the, uh, No. So two of I combine the strawberry with strawberry shortcake with a banana. So it's strawberry banana shortcake and my own patented Anacaris cream. Uh, cream I whipped myself with act with uh, most of one large banana and four strawberries in it for eight ounces of whipping cream. Um, if you want more body, honestly, that might be a bit much, but it is great flavor with that proportion. Um, and I have chosen to sprinkle on top, uh, some rock salt, a very generous amount of rock salt. Um to symbolize the, uh, to symbolize the Nile River, and specifically the sediments that it would leave behind. It was a very benign and reliable flooding process so people could evacuate and then come back and then tend their fields that were much richer for the water having come. Um, and because of that coming and going of flood, the, uh, Flood water, it can be rock salt or sea salt, and both are optional. Uh, while you do see a lot of uh, strawberry on here, the reason you don't see banana is because the banana is under the strawberry uh, using its flat slices. Uh, to use the uh, shape of the shortcake properly. The, um, the strawberry garnish uh, that was just excess. Turns out you don't actually need to chop up four whole strawberries for this. <laughs> Live and learn. It's pillowy and soft, but I got mostly uh, this Franz packaged shortcake. First flavor is salt. That's also strongest flavor. Then it's shortcake. Then it's the cream. And maybe a little strawberry. It's almost impossible to make out the banana.
Yes, I and I do leave on strawberry leaves when I cook. There are strawberry leaves on the shortcake and in the whipped cream. They are perfectly safe. It's an added bit of extra green. Whoops! When you buy fresh fruit, normally that's wasted, and uh, in this economy, nothing can be a can afford to be wasted. Honestly, I think I put on too much rock salt. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, yeah, definitely too much. That is too strong and it's too crunchy. The flavor and the feel, uh, they definitely contract, contrast with the, uh, They definitely contrast too strongly with the taste and the feel of the rest of the uh, strawberry shortcake. I think next time I am going to uh, I think next time I'm just going to try sprinkling it into the blender as it's blending and let it dissolve. If it's not too hard on the blaze, use some big Chunks of rock salt. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but it's huge. Um. So until next time, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what dark stalker or any other pop culture figure mainstream or obscure you would like to see me make some kind of a health food dish out of what 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 would you like to try to inspire me with please leave that in the comments and what did you think of uh what did you think of the mummy and the prospects of the uh new dark universe and how, how would you go forward with them? And what do you think about the new Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? And how would you go forward with that? Alright. See you again.